The Independent National Electoral Commission, INEC, has warned local observers of the upcoming off-cycle elections to adhere to the stipulated rules set by the electoral umpire. The chairman of the commission, Professor Mahmoud Yakubu, made this known as he met with representatives of civil society organizations in Abuja to update them on their preparedness for the polls. Yakubu assured participants at the event that INEC has commenced engagement with stakeholders and intend to continue as they work towards ensuring a successful election in November. So far, deploying 7,896 observers. In the next few days, accredited organizations will be invited to collect the identity cards for their observers. And as we requested, we'll also make available to you the stickers, the vehicle stickers to identify you so that you have unimpeded access to various locations on election day. As we are aware, the Commission conducted a mock accreditation involving actual voters in designated polling units in Bielsa, Imo, and Kogi states about two weeks ago. By doing so, we tested the efficacy of the bimodal voter accreditation system, the BIVAS, for both biometric authentication of voters and the upload of results on the INEC result viewing portal. Some of you observed the mock accreditation exercise and viewed the results on the IREF portal. We have received no adverse reports so far. By this, we are encouraged that the test was successful and we look forward to improved performance of the beavers in voter accreditation and result upload in the three states. Election is a multi-stakeholder activity. In discharging our responsibilities, we will continue to engage with all stakeholders. I wish to remind all accredited observers to strictly adhere to the code of conduct for election observation. Bielsa, Imo, and Kogi governorship elections are critical to the Commission. These are the first major elections holding immediately after the 2023 general elections. It is our conviction that with excellent work done by Independent National Electoral Commission and with our experience for the excellent work they did during 2023 general election, the forthcoming Imo and Bayesa State and Kogi State of cycling governorship elections will also be credible with adequate and transparent credible arrangement already put on ground by Independent National Electoral Commission. So it is our candid appeal to the voters, the electorates, to ensure that they come out MS on 11 November 2023 to perform their civic right and ensuring that they vote for the candidate of their choice.